Hello, here we are at Graham Russell Brown. I've got the biggest treat ever today. I've got my favourite customer for the entire world in store. We've spoken to this gentleman before about his creations, and they really are quite out there. And I want to talk you through, he's brought his entire kit in and his rack, and it's something to behold, something you've never seen before. But if you think you know about drums and drum kits, you know what we sell, you know what we do. But Alan, my favourite customer, he's, he's like a... He's an inventor. He thinks differently. He thinks outside the box. So let's introduce Alan first of all. Come on in, Alan. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. This is the Lovely. remarkable. I'm going to hold the mic because we're going to share this. So you're going to speak it down. We are. Um, but you're going to look at the camera. Yep. Because everyone wants to see your lovely face. Do they? Yeah. Happy <laughs> face. Yeah. Sorry about that. So this is Alan House from Southampton. That's correct. The legendary Alan House. <laughs> now, Alan's been coming here for many years, and like I say, he is without doubt my favourite customer. Uh, he always comes in with a big smile on his face, and I've, some customers make you happy when they come to the shop. Is it? <laughs> some customers make you happy yeah. when they leave. <laughs> Which one are you? Yeah. I, th I think I'm the one that makes you happy when I come. You, you, indeed. <laughs> you, you always make me happy with your big smile. But you make me happy because you... You, you think differently to the rest of us. I do. I, I buy more drums than anybody else. Well, off of you. That's yeah, yeah. Well, you, you make your own drums. <laughs> oh, right, yes. Alan, Alan doesn't like yeah. round drums. <laughs> do you? <laughs> no, that's right. So Alan's brought in his kit and his remarkable mm. rack, which is something to behold. I don't really know where to start, but let's wander over to your kit, shall we? Yeah. And, okay. and talk to the, the ladies and gentlemen at home about the thinking behind it. Yep. So we wander over here. Let's jump up on the stage. So here it is. It is quite something. I almost don't know where to start because we haven't actually discussed the drums before. We have. And they're all, with the exception of the snare drum, they're all hexagonal. That's correct. Why are they hexagonal? They're hexagonal because I wasn't able and I haven't got the machinery to actually do a round one, really. That's the truth of it. Okay. So I thought the next idea I got, I could do what I call square ones which is hexagonal, so I can do panels, right. cut them up, and then put them together. So what, have you, have you glued them? Yes, glued them, all glued. It's yes, with so Gorilla glue. That's correct. So they're like bits of floorboard almost, don't they? Yeah, they look like that. What, right. what, what are they made of? It's mahogany wood. Mahogany wood. it's a ply. Mahogany ply. Yes, yeah, seven and mil. And you've cut it into strips and you've That's glued it into correct. hexagons. Yes. Including the base drum. You including see, the base this drum, is, yes. This is the shell. That's it. That's the shell. You uh, but, you, but you still manage to put a round head on it. Yes, and, and then as well, that's right. And tension it up. A square going into a round. Okay. It's difficult. And you've gone for quite unusual sizes. Yes. I I like power toms. Always have all my life, really. Right. But I think, I just feel, no. well, I suppose if you paid a lot of money, you could get extra sizes. They would do it specially for you. But right. I've added three inches to all of these because I'm a lover of, of bigger, I like big sounds and I like big drums. They are incredibly deep. They are, aren't they? Now, a lot of people would argue you only need shallowness because yep. of the air and all that. I don't hear it. You I don't, don't hear see that. it. Not for me, no. So what have we got? We've got a 10 by 13. That's right. That's correct. Yeah. 12. Yeah, yeah. 12 it. by 15. That's it. 14, 14 by 17. That's correct. Yes. Holy moly. And how did you space them? 22 by 25. Yeah. And they've got uh, like um, an isolation system on them. That's correct. So is there no hardware attached to the drum at None all? None at all. No, nope. no, nope. just all okay. those. So what have you got? You've got this sort of aluminium band or yeah, steel I band that goes round. That's right, it goes round. That holds these, the lugs. The lugs. So you're able then to tune that up each end because that's held there. Otherwise, okay. if you didn't, the whole thing would go round around. Simple, okay. really, but it, would, it holds okay. it. Yeah. Amazing. So you've got mahogany hexagonal shells, yep. isolation system. But one of the reasons we've got you to bring it in today, and this does blow my mind, is you're hanging them on cable. That's correct. Can you see yes, that? Yes. Can you yes. see that on camera? Yes. So they're actually suspended. That's it. And what's the thinking behind that? Well, the thinking behind that is that, again, it's to do with the metal work. All the metal work that's around on it, I find, is a bit, bit too much for my liking. So I've actually hung them with just a little tiny S bend little, little there. Hook, yeah. Just hooks on there, very that's all it wire. is. Yeah, and the wire, very thin wire, and just okay. that's correct, yeah. Is this to increase resonance? This is, to is do it? exactly that, yes, which I think you do. I think you do get, but, just that edge. 
They do I'm, move. But they do move. Is that what well, this this, no, this, that, this, this bell does, across the front? Just, yeah, that's like to control the, that the movement. Just, that's right. It just helps to control. They do the bell. Yeah. A bit. But I've had four drummers on it, and they all said there's not a problem now. I would have thought it would have clashed and gone all over the place. You don't need it solid. We're so fixed. Companies are right. Some solid, but you you do the bass drum, but you don't need it with this. I mean, you can. You know what I mean? It's, it's not a, not a big problem. I'll I'll just try a little give bit. Give us a little demo. I'll just give you a little demo if you like for it. Like, hey. Side there, if it little bumpers. Happen, so it's little bumper, yeah. Okay. Yeah, buffers just on and this, there. This little rubber strap is kind of holding them together. Yeah, that's right. But they do still. So it helps to keep it in. It's just front up. Really. Unbelievable. But Luke, can you come up here, so please? So they're actually free standing. Luke, totally free. They are. Luke, come up here. Can you go around the back of the kit Thank so you. people can see the hexagonalness? Yes. So you've got S hoops on there. That's correct. And you can see. Yes, I quite like S hoops. But yeah. I have, but yes. Yeah. And, and you can see there is a bit of movement. That's right, yeah. Which most people say, well, it won't work, it won't work. As you can it see, is it's Alan, it is insane. <laughs> isn't it? It is, it, it is, is really. mad. It's completely mad, but, isn't it, really? but you love it, don't you? I love it, yeah, yeah. I love it, yeah. Because everybody says, that won't work, that won't work. All the some drummers I know. Oh, it's quite a big thing to cart around, isn't it? It's oh, yeah, quite it, high. Is, it is, yeah. You but you, you strange, told me, because yeah. you, your daughter's in your band. Yes, she, she is. said everyone wants to see your face. Well, apparently, yeah. They do. Yeah, do they? Is that they right? Do. So you couldn't have it in front of you, so you had to go high. <laughs> oh, right, OK. So, yeah, so I had to go high, so it was opened up. But I think the whole thing could come down a bit lower. It you would, know, in normal then, times. Then no one would see yeah. your face. Well, that's fine, isn't it? But, it's but, not but, fine. Well, according to my Why daughter... Why do people pay the money to come and see you if they can't see your face? They come and listen to our superb sound. And you, you're out gigging most weekends, aren't you? Yes, yeah. You most don't always weekends. take the full. No, I don't. I wire system usually use the baskets in most cases okay. because we do 50s and 60s music. It's better. More in keeping. I think it looks more in keeping. Yes, it yeah. looks better. This looks a bit 70s and 80s. Bit it's more 80s hair metal. Well, isn't probably it? even probably. Well, I suppose it's even earlier than that. Really, isn't it? Really. It could it, be. Yeah, really. Can you um? Can you show Luke? The mounting for the floor tom. Oh yes, because yes, that also is yes. quite something. Because most of us, most of us just have three little legs on our floor tom. And this has got mounts, little rubber grommets on each one of those. So the edge just sits on them. It's a cross but a beam that I've knocked right. up. It looks like a modified microphone stand as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Is it height adjustable or is that fixed? Uh, that yeah, should be. You can do, but I haven't. It's fixed because it's for mine. Right. So and, I'll, and obviously it. your floor tom, I presume, is three inches deeper than... That's correct. It so is. So that's 16 yes, by 19. At 18. 16 21, by... 21, isn't it? Sorry? It's 18 diameter. Yeah. Yeah. 18 oh, diameter. Boy. Yeah. 16. Yeah. Okay. So it's 18 that by 21. on those rubber grunts like that. Yeah. That's it, bingo. Hey, can I borrow your stick a sec? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it's different, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, it depends what you want. I mean, you've still got what I call a bow sound. Now, most drums are basically the same as that, but these are you... The two skins, the Evans UV2s, yeah, Evans UV2s which okay. are quite thick, I believe, yeah. two seven mils, I believe. Yeah, obviously, are, you are getting a bit of rattle off the snares yes, as well. Yes, we are. Yeah, yeah. Get but the you look, you've got a DW snare drum there. I have, which looks fairly conventional. However, I know, <laughs> and I think the people at home know, it's probably not conventional. No, that's correct. Do you want to show yeah. us what's going yes, on with this? Certainly. Look, this yeah. is something you. This will blow your mind. <laughs> it's Again. a DW snare. It's an edge snare, isn't it? It's an edge snare. Okay. It is, yeah. And what have you done to the inside of it? Well, what I've done, in actual fact, I've, well, I'll give you this, what it does first. Okay. First of all, you, you've got your normal sound. And then... So it goes up. So you've got the normal one. It's always quite high for me. And then you go up. Hear the difference? Yeah, I can hear the difference. Yeah. The difference. That's very hard. So if you wanted it high and, and, and you know, 
Or you can have a lower. And of course, with the snare on, you've got the normal one. And you go up. So when, so when you're pressing that lever, what's happening inside? What's happening there is... Can you just turn it over and show us? Yeah, I can do. Yes, yes, can I do. What I've done there... Oh, come around this side. Yeah. Okay. yeah, what I've done there... Can you see that, Luke? See the metal hoop, okay? Mm -hmm. That runs around there. And what that does, it simply just pushes up against the skin. And that then tunes it up to a higher pitch. But you can do it like that. You can do it within a song. Or you it's can like do it in the blue, you know? So it's like a shell within a shell, isn't it? It is, in a way, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you've got, like, two heads, really, and, in and a sense. And you made all yeah. that? I didn't make all that, no, I designed it, Right. but I had a metal worker just round the corner from me, Right. and he done it. I designed it and drew it all out, and then he actually made it for me. And when you're gigging, do you switch from one to the other? Yes, yeah, sometimes I do. Do, do. Mm. do you? Yeah, I do. For yeah. certain songs? Yes, for certain songs, yeah. Okay. I think the higher pitched one fits on some songs a little bit better right. than the lower one. But then other songs, mainly with 50s and 60s, it's the lower one, I do <laughs> deny that. Okay. But it can be picked up, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Really can, yeah. So, kids at home, if you've got a DW Edge snare and you're not happy with the sound of it <laughs> and you want to enhance it, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Alan House is your man. <laughs> yeah, your man. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You've got die cast soup on the top there as well. Yes. Yes, I have. That I got from you. Yes. Yeah. I've, um, I've got the normal ones at home. The, right. uh, but you like fans, the die cast soup. But I, I quite like them, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think they're nice. Okay. So, you've got double pedal. Are you, yeah. are, are, you, are, you, are you left handed? I am left footed, I'm cack handed. And they call it open drumming apparently, that's a nice way of putting it, but really right. it's a cock up really. So you're right handed. So I'm right handed. Left footed. Yeah. I mean, I'm smiling because your toms are moving all over the place. Yeah, but you no don't problem. want that. No. <laughs> play with my toms. Couldn't you? No. Oh, right. That's disconcerting, isn't it? Is it? It isn't for me. Yeah. Perhaps on. I'm not sure it's going to take off. Oh, no. I'm not I sure it's going to be a big no, commercial success. No. Oh. I shouldn't think so. No, no, I, think, I shouldn't think so. I think no. it's got a limited appeal. Yeah. <laughs> but you like it, don't you? I like it. Yeah, I you, love it. Am I right that you've got a DW kit at home, haven't you? I have, yeah. And you like this more? Yeah, yeah. I get the sound that I actually have always been looking for. I, I find I couldn't get it with other drums. And when you pay out four or five thousand pounds worth right. for drums, yeah. you don't want to start messing about with them. No. Whereas if you do your, what, your own ones, you can do all sorts yeah. of things. You can play around, stick things on, take things off. You right. don't mind too much. Okay, so why have you still got the other kit? Why don't you get rid of um, it? Yeah, because I like it. You do I like, like it. it. I, well, you don't play it, though, do you? I, a bit like most drummers. A drummer the other day that we unfortunately lost, bless his heart, our Terry, yeah. he had about 20 snares. He did, yeah. And so my Listen. wife says, why do you need 20 snares? Why? The two is ample, surely. Wives do have a <laughs> Wives <been> saying that. <laughs> they yeah. do. Yeah. How many pairs of shoes has she got? Yeah, that's right, right. yeah. She won't tell me. No. <laughs> she only wear one pair at a time. But I tell you what, the old wardrobe's full of them. <laughs> so how long, is this, how long have you had this kit built like this? I've had that, well, 2006, 2000. 12, about 2012. So it's been going for 10 yeah. years now? Yeah, about 10 years now, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you gig this every week? Yeah, yeah, amazing. sometimes twice a week, sometimes, yeah. Mm. It's quite amazing. So I'm in a bit of a jazz band thing as well. 
So with that and with the rock and roll, I'm pretty busy. And if you don't use the rack, okay. how, how do you mount these if they're not on the rack? I put them in a basket, <laughs> normal basket. You'd have you got a basket for each one? Each one, yeah. I've got a basket fitted on the top there. Right. And that's that black little box there you can see with a hole in it. And okay. Cut one off short right. and fit that in there so it fits in there like that. Now they do sit quite high, obviously, because you've got deep toms. They're obviously quite yes, high up. Yes, they're quite they? high up, which is great for me. It's, yeah. it's fine for me, you know. I say the only setback you would have commercially, I'm not interested commercially, but if you were, is some people like their drums up, their toms up like that. Yeah, instance. you'd have to have another Y, wouldn't you, yeah, this side? You, yeah, well, yeah, but that would get in the way. <laughs> so I've come up with a different idea, which I won't bore everybody with, but I've got some ideas, you know, for that anyway, right. if you wanted to. But that, for me, is the right position. That's the right angle. Uh, the right angle, absolutely right superb. You've got to get the right angle of dangle, haven't you? Everything's natural. <laughs> yeah, natural to you. <laughs> <laughs> Not natural to most people. <laughs> it, I mean, it is different, I'll give yes, you that. Right. And when I was young, although I'm right handed, I swapped it around. I used to have in those days an Olympic kit, and I had one tom there. And then what I did, I thought, well, I can't understand with the hi hats over here, and we're doing all this crossover bit. So clever stick here. Thought, ah, I know. So, the so, answer. so, so do you think we've all been getting it wrong? Oh, all for years. years. All of us. Yeah, all of you. Yeah? Absolutely, yeah. It's all wrong. Sorry, drummers, we've all been getting it wrong. <laughs> That's right. So we yeah. should have sat up this way. We've just been sold the idea, see, that's what it is. We should have been sat up this way, we should have hung our toms that's off right. with wires. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then you get a true clear sound. Now, what skins you like on it, obviously you can have it tuned or whatever you like it, obviously. Yeah, you can, yeah. yeah. So everybody's going to be different there. Right. I like a deeper sound. I'm a bass man, so I like the deep sound, you know. Right. But I was, I all kicked off when I did the, the actual bass drum. I was very pleased with that, you know. But right. I, I've got an EMAD, mind you, yeah. I do like them, but, yeah. uh, you know. Oh, you've got double pedal as well. Yeah, double pedal. Speed Cobra. Do you, yeah. you play 50s and 60s music? Yeah, we do. Do you do a lot of double pedal in that? No, not no. a lot, because it's not required. But well, we do do a lot on endings. Do you? You know, when you got that. It does. Of Give course, it a fuller, yeah. a fuller sound, just on the ends of numbers. Of course, yeah. Good. And you sing, you sing as well, don't you? Well, yes. <laughs> He's a man of many talents. Man of incredible talent, really. Yeah. Isn't it? Um, well, the thing is, I'm a very modest sort of chap. You, you will find that as you've gone along. I haven't got a lot to say for myself, as you've probably... You've already spotted that, I know you have. <laughs> well, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. Anything else you want to tell me about it? Is there well, anything, I, anything I haven't noticed? No, I think we, we've covered everything, really. I think we've covered a lot, really. Your hi hats are very low. Yeah, do you from, ever do yeah. sixteenths on the hi hat? Yeah. So it's two handed. So, so do you lead with your right? Yes. So if you do a sixteenth though. Go, go, go. It's, it's very difficult on a left-handed kit, isn't it? I suppose it is, really. So I guess you don't do that? No. Never had a lesson in my life, so... OK. I don't know. Okay. I just picked it all up. I, we never afford lessons when I was a lad, so... OK. You know, and we certainly never had anybody teaching us in our area. Right. And we certainly... And my mother and father never had money to go out, and I never had enough to go outside. But, you know, to go to Sampton or somewhere. You've got loads of money now, though. I have now, but then, then of course, along comes a wife and family and kids yeah. and carpets and mortgages and... All that, and that's it. All went that's down all right. So I just carried on, you know, doing what I could feel I could do. Right. But I just enjoy it. I love it. I, I think I it. think it's, I think it's amazing. It, what is it? About six and a half foot high. Yes, that's right. Two, two meters high. Yep. So it probably wouldn't fit in some venues, would it? Yeah. No, that's the other problem you've got. That's right. right. Yeah. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Yeah. So you've got to be very careful where you take it. I have yeah. taken it twice, and I've been lucky. Very right. lucky to un unknown venues. Right. But I was very lucky. But you've got to watch out. You're quite okay. right. Quite right. No. Do you mind if I have a go? No. Yeah, you're sat left-handed, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to be it's going to be very <laughs> challenging. But I love it. Go, got it. Oh, they're not from play on camera. Oh, sorry. What have you got on your pedals? Sorry, Luke. Oh. What's what's all this? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Another modification. What's that? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> my daughter likes the stops. Y your um, daughter does. Yeah. Does yeah she she plays as well. Yeah, my daughter plays as well. Yeah, because we swap over. I go out the front, do a bit of singing, right. jumping around, and um, you know. So, 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 do you like the stops? And. I don't dislike it. I can sometimes play with that on the top, top, so you can play it. Okay. Whatever you feel want, you want to do. do. Do you find it possible to buy a piece of equipment and not modify <laughs> it? 
do you? They just don't get it right, these drum manufacturers. <laughs> wow. So what I meant was, if you want to go... Yeah. You can't, you've got to cross your hand. You'd have to leave it with your left, wouldn't you? Yeah, you do it with your left, yeah. So do you, so do you leave with your left, on, or do you not do no, 16s? No, I, I think I leave with the right, don't I? But you, right. That's it, and then... You can do it that way, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah? Very, very awkward. Awkward, isn't it? Isn't it? I would think. Yeah. Is, that, is that on high or low? That's on low. That's on low at the moment. It's not overly low, is it? Wow, it takes your head off. Yeah, well, that's, that's a... <laughs> it's completely, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Really? Everything about it. But you, you had no problem, did you? Running around. Wow. He was all right. <laughs> hey? It's not easy. <laughs> well, I didn't. Did you find it more difficult? Did you? It's just because it's moving. You're not used to well, that. Well, it's going the wrong way. You're used to, well, yeah, of course, that's, that's, true. True. that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. That's, that right. that's right. Uh, you're uh, quite right. Anyway. It's going the wrong way for you, but yeah. It's the most absurd drum cut I've ever seen. <laughs> but it's also fantastic. It's the sound I had in my head for years, and I just couldn't get them from kits. I got an uh, anniversary kit, 75th anniversary kit, yeah. Ludwig. Um, with the eagles on the front. Right, okay, yeah, I remember that. I got that, but uh, even that I couldn't get what I wanted. Then you I got the get DW. What you no, you got I couldn't. DW, get that didn't get what you wanted. No, I still couldn't get what I wanted. Do you think when John yeah. Good from DW sees this, he's going to be <laughs> some of this technology? Yeah. Has he still owning the company? Somebody he's, told he's me. He's still, he's still there. Has he? Oh, yeah. he's still there. Is he? He's okay. Still there, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it was sold over. It yeah. was anyway. sold, yeah, sold to Roland, I believe. Uh, Roland, yeah, I think, he, he, yeah. I think he's still there. But, um, oh, right, okay. If he sees yeah. this, he might be giving you a phone call. Yeah, that's right. Maybe yeah. he's been getting it wrong all these years. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And hexagons, yeah. hexagons hung on cable all the uh, way forward. Come and work for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, well, that's right. But, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, that moves quite a bit. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. It's stable. But no, 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 it's all very flexible. It's all very movable. It's all, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you bringing it in. That's all right, been a I pleasure. Think, I think drummers need to see this. This is the sort of innovation we want. Yes. In well, ways. it's just ideas. You know? Some people like it, some people wouldn't like it. I mean, it does yeah. seem strange and it does move. Well, and that's what everybody says when you play. But you can't please all the people all the time, can you? Can you? No. <laughs> that's right. Please yourself. So, best to please people like me. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, yeah. it's definitely <laughs> unique. <laughs> very, very unique. <laughs> If anybody wants a drum kit like this, get in touch. That's right. I'll put in touch with Alan. Yeah. And if anybody wants a normal drum kit, <laughs> come here. We've got those. <laughs> if anybody wants to stick with round drums That's right. and conventional hardware, That's right. yeah. because it, it doesn't Square move. body and round heads. <laughs> yeah. You know where to come. That's Alan, right. That's right. As always, it's an absolute pleasure. pleasure. You yeah. are a legend. Thanks yeah. for coming in. Legend in disguise. Put a smile on my face. <laughs> Good. That's good. That's the main thing. This is what we need. We need more inventors in the world. Well, I think it's a great thing if we can do that, if we can get people come up with different ideas, because there like are James, other ideas. You're like James Dyson, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just not as clever. Well, I didn't say that, but... <laughs> I would. You are the James Dyson of drumming. Yeah. James <laughs> Dyson good. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, I think uh, we don't get it quite here because of our, obviously our snares pick up, yeah. but you get more of a clearer note when there's nothing else around. Right. I think there's a clearer note from that. It's very fine, don't get me wrong, it's very fine, right. but a clearer note, a clearer, just slightly clearer is the best way I can describe it now, on each drum right. because I do think, honestly believe, that it's because it's just hanging, because there's nothing interfering with it at all. Just nothing interfering at all. And in my books, that that's good. But I, I could be wrong. A lot of people would argue with that. Well, I wouldn't dare argue. Uh, no. <laughs> I think right. everyone's entitled to their opinion. <laughs> that's right. You know. And if, if they if they agree with me, it's right. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't agree with me, they're wrong. Well, they're Is that right? right? That's right. Stupid. Wow. Now you have the, the the console thing in the middle quite often. A lot of people like that, don't they? Well, that. They well, like, they, you know, it comes up and holds your two toms. Yeah. 
you know, there's a lot of people like that. Yeah. But I always think that's wrong as well in, in, on, a, on a bass drum. You don't, you don't like a mount on a bass drum? No, it should be free, I think, you know. Free of what? Yeah. Why should it be free? You're going to put a pillow in it and damp it. <laughs> don't, and that's wrong, isn't it? No. Put a pillow in there. No, don't put it in there. Yeah, have you got an e-mount on it with a load of tape? Yeah, I have got an e-mount on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the only other thing I have got, I'm a big lover of metal. I think that lowers it as well. Metal? Metal. What do you yeah. mean? I've got a metal bar. What, in your bass drum? Hmm. Let me, clip. Let me come around. But I also use this idea, which I think, that again, shade-wise, is just a little bit, but it takes it right down. A metal bar? A metal bar. Mm. It's quite yeah. heavy. It is. It's, like, it's an offensive weapon. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just sits on the bottom. Yes, it sits, well, no, it sits on a clip. I've got a clip on it. It just sits in there. Uh, clips in. Clips in? Just well, clips like a in. microphone? Yeah, like, like a microphone, yeah, on a clip. It's inside. Yeah. You can see it just on the left. Right. You can see it from... And you, and you think that brings the tone down a bit? If you have a look at Yamaha, right. uh, two years ago, yep. in their bass drum, they've got little tiny bits of metal running right. all the way around. Right. Yeah, do you ever remember seeing that at all? I do remember seeing yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, Yamaha do that, because yeah. they know, they found out that metal does help to give you more depth. Right. In fact, when I was younger, um, there's a rock band told me, they said, well, why don't you, if you want deeper sound, why don't you put a brick in it? And all the my local blokes around, the drummers, what are you on about? I a have brick. Heard, I heard of a pot of paint as well. Yeah, a pot of paint, uh, yeah. You were yeah, a painter. Uh, yeah, that's right. But I always put bricks. I always had got old hands free of bricks. What's all this uh, draft excluder on the bottom of the toms? Yeah, well, that's, that? that's just to make it look pretty. That's just for look. It's <laughs> not look. sonic. That's right. No. It must affect the sound. Uh, yeah, and also the skins on here are the top skins as well. They're right. not what you would have, the like thin ones. You've you got thick that? heads. The thick heads, like you've you years top ago. And bottom, that's and right. Got, and you've got draft excluder on that's as well. Right, and draft excluder on as well. Okay, do you think that's all helping the resonance? It. I think, yeah, I think it does. I think yeah. it's great. I, I think it, it holds it down. It, yeah. it gives me that depth, you know. It certainly gives you yeah. depth, yeah. And that's yeah. what I like about it. And that's what I'm after, is depth. Okay. And that's what I find most drums. I know jazz people don't want it. They yeah, want yeah, but more what, top what, what, what do they know? <laughs> that's right. What they know, yeah. So, <laughs> so I need to start yeah. stocking draft excluder then. Draft yeah. excluder. That's, that's what right. I'm going wrong, yeah? A bit of super glue. <laughs> Draft excluder and superglue. Yeah, that's right. You yeah. heard it first yeah, here, yeah. kids. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's where it all happens. And your whole bass drum's kind of off the ground, isn't it? Yeah, it is. On yeah, a like lifter. square. Yeah. Um, I'll sort the Steve Gadd. Right. No. <laughs> I won't sort the Steve Gadd. But um, anyway, but he does the same, doesn't he, apparently? He does a lifter. And I think it's right. I think he does. You get a better sound by square rather than like that. Right, OK. That's another thing. I think so. Oh, any drum. Wow. In my opinion. Yeah. So, yeah, I've got these lifts up. And, and this rubber, rubber belt, is this anything particular? Nothing just, particular, just, just rubber. Just rubber. rubber. It ties on that end, it ties on that end, and then you just undo it. And these are onto the lugs, that just goes onto the lugs, right. so it's not touching the drum of any description, just on right. the lugs. It just, it just firms it up a little bit for us. Yeah. But as I said, there's no problem if it hits, you know. It just hits. You've got a few, I've got buttons on the, uh, on the eight. I've got on buttons on the side there if it goes into that. Look, yeah. you don't hear anything, nothing happens to it. You've even got a grain rustle drum sticker on there. I have, I have. That's, that's good. That's good, isn't it? Hey? Yeah. Can't be bad, that's can it? That's a mark of quality. <laughs> yeah, it straight away. So. So there you are. Oh Lord, it's hard to be humble. You've got one black head and two white heads. Is that strategic <laughs> or is that just because you, do you need to forget? Whatever came in, <laughs> whatever I had in the shed. That's I'm, I'm sure I can send you another one. <laughs> yeah, that's where the problem comes in. <laughs> yeah. Money is a money, problem money. I do have, folks. It is a problem. <laughs> Not when you've got a good drum shop that does a good deal. <laughs> That's right, no. And they do do you a very good deal. If you want anything, certainly come here. They've got it, and they can definitely get it. Well, I'm not even paying him to say that. <laughs> no, no, no. It's all free, free at any time, you know. <laughs> stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Alan, you are a legend. Thank you. You look tall up there. Do I? Know? Yeah. <laughs> you look short, then. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is amazing. Thank you for taking the time to bring it in and set it My up. My pleasure. That's all so right. All the people I was fascinated by it. Good. And Good. if anybody's got any questions, yeah. wants to get yeah. in touch with Alan, get in touch with me, yeah. and he can answer any questions you may have. That's right. And about this amazingly unique drum kit. Or take up a flute. 
Oh, <laughs> take a break, that'd be good. And if you want to see Alan playing, he plays in around Southampton, don't you? Yes, all around Southampton. All around yes, Southampton. Yes, yes, and, and, uh, all around Southampton. I'll give you some gig dates. Basingstoke. Yeah, oh, yeah whatever. Um, Somerset last weekend. You go everywhere. We're all over the place. Yep, all over the place. So <laughs> you can yes. see this kit in action. In action. In Southampton and yes. the surrounding area. Yes, we so can. So thank you for coming. I'm going to wrap this up now. Been a pleasure. It's an amazing kit. And uh, it's reissued the name of your band. Yes, reissued is the name. It's not the name of the kit. No, that's the name of the band. Okay. Reissue. Well, yeah. Look out for reissue. That's what we are. Reissue, really. Okay. Slightly, slightly middle-aged people. I'd, <laughs> say, I'd say you're an original, Alan. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. And, uh, oh, Lord, it's hard to be humble when you're perfect in every way. Well, that's what my mother said anyway. Is it? <laughs> yeah. About you? <laughs> yeah. When yeah. I look in the mirror... <laughs> no, I won't go on. <laughs> you know what a modest chap I am. You are, yeah. <laughs> you're never lost for words either, <laughs> are you? <laughs> no, I thought I was a quiet sort too. <laughs> you are. My favourite customer, Mr. Allenhausen, I thank you. Thanks for coming. It's been a pleasure. Thanks pleasure for bringing the cane. No problem. See you later, kids. No problem.